what's up guys and welcome back to another video i try to look online especially on youtube for a tutorial or videos that show how to add negative using bulk files and it came to be very handy when you have a lot of negatives to add throughout a lot of campaigns and i couldn't really find a video that shows how to do it sponsored product sponsored brand both for keywords and for product targeting so i had to really tweak uh, files and find solutions online and in this video i'm going to try to make it very easy for you and uh, if there will be a lot of comments asking for the templates i'm going to share them and you should be able to see my screen over the shoulder and actually make your own kind of template very easy and straightforward let me show you how Okay, so again, this will be very handy when you go through your search term report, you find keywords or ASIN that are not performing well, or you even use the method that I showed before using PPC Ninja that is really efficient, uh, not just to find negatives or keywords from specific date range, but to really look at the bigger picture. I really, really encourage you to check that video out. But let's assume that you just downloaded your last 30 days of your search term report, whether it's sponsored uh, uh, product or sponsored brands, and you make a list of keywords or search terms that didn't convert, and you want to add them as negatives. It's really time consuming to go and take that keyword and add it to the campaign as a negative. And a lot of times you don't just want to edit this search term or keyword into one campaign you want to edit throughout all of your campaigns you want to make sure that this keyword will never be triggered for your uh, products or your ads from showing and prevent future spending right and it's really kind of annoying to do it manually it's really a time consuming task so bulk files come very handy and in this method or this way i'm going to show you how to do it in a very efficient way at the beginning you will need to set up a few things that will take your time so let me show you first what you need to do okay so in order to do it you're going to go to sponsored ad and bulk operations you're going to choose everything here except um you can do this and then i we could do yesterday or last 14 days it doesn't really matter why we're downloading the bulk file so we have the campaign id numbers and ad group numbers and we need it in order to really go and uh use the bulk files correctly throughout all the campaign because that's the unique identifier that help amazon knows which campaign you are going to edit that just the campaign name doesn't work with bulk files and negatives so we're going to click on create spreadsheet for download and then it's going to be ready after few minutes uh, after you download it I actually already uh, downloaded it and it's going to look like that you're going to have portfolios these tabs brand assets data sponsored product campaign sponsored brand campaigns and th those are the two that are important for us what we're going to do is we're going to click on data filter and remove everything that is not like a you know a campaign or ad group so we're going to deselect everything and then choose only ad group and campaign and we're going to choose actually here to make things easier i want to see only the campaigns that are enabled of course and basically we're going to um, take the campaign ID only the unique ones and the ad group ID and use that for the sponsored product bulk file that we're creating we're going to have two types one for keywords let's say you find specific keywords that you want to add as negative and one for product targeting now what I do is to to really uh, not uh, really waste time I just take all the campaigns and add them into the sponsored product bulk file for the product targeting and for the keywords even though some will encounter errors when you upload them for example a sponsored product targeting campaign when you add a keyword uh, it's not it's not gonna work because this is just for product so it's not gonna work in the opposite so what we have to do <clears throat> sorry I'll show you now how to actually edit we'll start with the regular sponsored product campaign what you have to do that's how the template is gonna look like here we have entity which is negative keyword the operation we do the create here for campaign ID we take the campaign ID from the bulk file and we put the ad group from the bulk file as well for portfolio ID ad ID keyword ID product targeting campaign uh, name ad group name started end date all of those will be empty the state should be enabled 
the same for all of those they're going to be empty and here for the keyword text you're going to put the text that you want to add as a uh, you know as a negative now we're going to choose either negative exact or negative phrase in my example it's phrase i don't want to really show anything with pacifier in it to uh, my customers and that's it I'm going to make sure we're actually with it the sponsored product and we have to make sure that we have all the campaigns now that's just one keyword you're going to have a lot of words let's say you have five five keywords and you have 70 campaigns you're going to have five by 70 which is uh how much is that like uh, uh 1428 3500 uh, th uh, 350 campaigns or 350 rows here where you're going to upload it as a bulk file now let me show you what it looks like for the sponsored brand product targeting so we're going to go back here sp product targeting and the same thing uh, sponsored products negative so here the entity in, instead of negative keyword is going to look like negative product targeting and then everything is the same create campaign id group id the state here for keyword and match type it's going to be empty but the product targeting will be asin and then the asin that you want to add as negative okay now how it look for sponsored brands for sponsored brand it's going to be very similar just with a little uh, change so this is for the keyword phrases so this is sponsored brand negative keyword create very very similar almost the same just sponsored brands here and the same for sponsored um brands uh product targeting everything is the same and here bam asin very simple straightforward again if you want the templates let me know in the comment section i might share them upload them to you so it's easier for you uh you know to just start and use it instead of just uh, making your own files from scratch let me know if there will be a lot of requests for it i will just uh, make the effort to upload them and share them with you again it saved me ton of time to be more efficient and be uh you know do it it's not just about efficiency because a lot of times because it's so complicated we become very lazy we become and saying you know what let's not just do this process or let's just do it every six months instead of every two weeks you know so that's the beauty of being efficient and productive in your business i hope i was able to help you inspire you and please uh, drop a like if you enjoyed this video it would really help me grow the channel and of course let me know in the comment sections how did you like this video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video